Welcome to 10 minute talk with nurses a voice to lead. Today I have with me Professor Dr. Manju Chugani who was a former dean uh, at Jamia Hamdard and presently working as head of department obstetrics and gynecology nursing and paramedical sciences a prodigious leader trainer researcher and an influential academician with more than 29 years of experience she has a lot of publications books paper presentation in her kitty she has received 13 awards and she is one of she was also awarded as a 51 most influential woman uh, among india welcome ma'am as as we are celebrating international nurses day today so let the world know what nurses do uh, who uh, nurses who have been the silent worker uh, relentlessly tirelessly working so let's hear from dr manju jugani who nurses are um, thank you uh, for this uh, first of all uh, i would like to wish everyone happy nurses day to all my fellow nurses in india and globally and i would like to uh, thank you in fact for hosting this show on such an important day uh, as you asked what nurses do i am just thinking what they don't do <laughs> so uh, they do everything for saving the life of patients to provide quality of life to uh, the sick patients and to prevent diseases to promote health to rehabilitate whenever required so this is in very short but i will say that i feel very proud it's a proud moment for all of us the way our nurses are holding the fort of business yeah. of saving lives during this pandemic and they are uninterrupted brave army of angels i would say at present who are silently diligently uncomplainingly saving lives and i would say they are the most important and integral critical component of any healthcare delivery system and they are working as soldiers at front line and they provide care to the patient based on their observations assessment checking their vitals taking their history diagnostic test helping in diagnosis uh, diagnostic test and whole lot of things around patient care coordinating everything with all doctors with lab people with dietitian uh, with social worker with the uh, other people who are contributing towards the health of the sick person they coordinate everything so they are at the center of everything revolving around the patient care they educate the patient and families and they give important information to them so that they become um, self they they get empowered for self care and they provide emotional support psychological support they provide preventive care in public health they work in different areas also like they work in hospital they work in school they work in camps prisons military base patients home and they also specialize and work in different areas like pediatrics surgery then uh, geriatric emergency trauma labor and delivery neonatology different areas different specializations they work in and they also work in unconventional roles nowadays like hyperbaric nurses yeah. uh, they have aircraft nurses um, they have transgender nurses so they have different roles now they are going beyond their uh, boundaries of yeah. definition of nurses and the reputation of any hospital i would say depends on the type of nurses they have and the yeah. the satisfaction of patient care depends on that and yeah. i find her role in tender loving care to humanity a very big role yeah ma'am is uh, because you have told so much about nurses are they given the due recognition in our country and uh, that's a very good question and it should be the concern for yeah. every nurse in fact the community people also on this 
I would say that not at par with other countries, but there is always a light. And I would not hesitate in saying that in last decade, we have seen a slow and steady positive changes happening in nursing. And um, last year, we saw that uh, the celebrations uh, of uh, International Day of the Nurses happened with the announcement or the declaration of the WHO uh, saying this as a year of the nurse and the midwife. India also took uh, initiatives in organizing plenty of programs at national and international and state levels and mm -hmm. uh, policy makers were also involved in this and um, they uh, the media people are also becoming proactive I saw last week India Today covered the story of unsung heroes uh, mm -hmm. for nurses and uh, we are very thankful to media that once they start taking initiatives and there is a political will, we will definitely have that due recognition which we look for uh, in coming uh, era or the next decade, in fact. Mm -hmm. And I would say that in other countries, I have seen that the nurses are sometimes paid more than the uh, physicians and they are CEOs of the hospitals. And uh, this can happen in India too. Only political will is missing. Yeah. Is nursing more than a career? Um, yes, of course. Uh, it's actually more than a career because it's a unique profession. Unique, it, it is making itself a unique because of many reasons. And it's a unique profession in which the uh, the person undergoes a structured training program which is regulated by the council and they acquire a formal qualification and the profession has a body of knowledge uh, and it's a full-fledged profession declared by WHO also. Um, through this profession, they are not only earn and find the progress opportunities like in other careers, but as a nurse, they also find opportunities to help and serve people in their critical times, in the times of need or critical times, which they will never forget. And it's, it's like a God sent. They play a role of an angel who is God sent. And they promote healing by compassionate listening, thinking, organizing, leading, and silently giving skilled care to the patients. And they help patients, families in times of need with perfect combination of uh, updated clinical acumen and emotional intelligence and provide tender loving care, which proves them, which proves that they are really God sent. Yeah. What changes uh, we need to bring on nursing or what changes we need to bring yeah. Uh, first is there is a, a acute shortage of nurses. 2.5 million nurses in India, there is a shortfall of 2.5 million. But at the same time, the irony is that at the same time, India is the fifth uh, largest exporter of the nurses to other countries. And uh, this is happening because they are getting lucrative opportunities. They get handsome package there, they get good environment, milieu to work, and mm -hmm. uh, they get respect, dignity uh, for their work. And if they go there for these things, can't we provide these things in our own country and retain them, retain their talent, uh, which is very, very uh, actually appreciated by all others. They are in demand by uh, other countries because of their work, what they do and because of their talent. So we should try to provide these lucrative pay packages, respect, dignity, and a milieu, a nurturing milieu, I would say, uh, will help them to stay in this country itself and give uh, contribute to the health of our own nation instead of going abroad. And then um, they should be given a chance to show their tal talent, uh, like a bedside to boardroom. 
but they should be given chance to show that talent if they're not given chance then we can't um, we can't say that they are not doing or they are not capable of doing we should give them opportunities of this type and i'm sure they will prove themselves and they have immense potential they have immense potential to get involved into new roles also as i said earlier also like hyperbaric nurse transgender youth nurses so if they are taking these roles they are taking role of nurse practitioner in midwifery with training why can't they do these things if we provide opportunities or platform to them and they uh, they should be involved um, in public health to empower uh, the uh, empower our community and they should also be empowered themselves to practice as nurse practitioners in many countries like diabetic nurse specialist geriatric nurse they are there so uh, Uh, these changes we have to really uh, bring uh, in in this profession so that uh, the profession grows and grows and we we can uh, we can aspire the sky is the limit actually and uh, uh, specialized care i would say is required for which specialized training programs in specialties like, mm-hmm. like doctors are having similar way they should also be have Yeah. Now, what is what is the message that you want to give out to the nurses out there in this International Nurses Week, Nurses Day? Uh, yeah. So, uh, one more thing in this, I wanted to say that the change which have to which we have to bring is one is the political will, hmm. which is important, and also uh, that we should join the global movement. Globally, nurses are gaining momentum. and we should join that and bring the national glorification in our country also uh, you asked me that uh, what is the message okay um nurses have emerged during this pandemic i would say as unsung heroes uh, ev- uh, every challenge it has opportunity also so this has come out uh, in a very uh, big way that uh, what work they are doing and whole world has witnessed actually their tireless relentless sincere silent selfless contribution in battling this uh, this covid-19 crisis and they without they are battling this uh, covid-19 uh, this thing uh, uh, crisis without worrying about their families without threat of their own life and uncertainties which everyone today is bothered or concerned about and they are standing tall and are uh, true warriors actually in the brutal war of covid-19 and my heart goes out to salute each one of them for this work n number of times if i salute it's also not enough uh, we need to do more and more for them and uh, they have actually immense potential but uh, their potential is to be utilized we need to give them opportunities to realize their potential and they they are the lifeline of any hospital you all ha- must have heard this but nurses themselves also have to realize that they have all this first they should respect themselves their profession then others will fall in line so uh, that's first message that respect yourself your profession people will fall in line on this and you need to master your skills you need to master your uh, your art and science and work in teams because team work works and come out of the comfort zones and start with miniature steps Mm-hmm. and keep focus on the path of outstanding journey of success and the more you give the more you benefit yourself and so you need to be good to others so be good to others and that that's how you will be good to yourself also every day and keep touching the lives of people by mind spirit intellect and Uh, their families too uh, this ha- is true today also what is said long back 
जमाना आज भी उनकी मिसाल देता है जो नेकी कर दरिया में डाल देते हैं सो नर्सेज आर डूइंग दिस एवरी डे एवरी डे आई वुड से एंड इट्स टाइम फॉर द पॉलिसी मेकर्स citizens of our country because i'm not saying it to only to nurses i am appealing to the policy makers and citizens of the country also that they should acknowledge honor and value the contribution and place them in a prominent position in any healthcare system and theme of this year is also conveying the same actually theme of the nurses day nurses a voice to lead a vision for future healthcare in this testing times let's be victorious and play our part oh thank you ma'am for encouraging and to all the nurses who are watching us out all the students who are watching us uh, happy international nurses day and salutation to all the uh, nurses who are working really hard in this unprecedented time thank you ma'am yeah. for coming big in. salute big salute to you and all nurses across the globe yeah thank you so much